USA and Elon Musk finally reveal new light speed engine that defies physics. Elon Musk and NASA just introduced their new rocket called the light speed engine, which goes against physics and could take us to Mars in weeks rather than months. They are now trialing it on their new spaceship known as the Interplanetary Transport System. Continue watching this video to know what the speed engine actually is, how it works, and why it could be such a game changer in space travel. A small team of engineers at NASA just trialed what is now known as a new type of rocket engine that can operate much more expeditiously than anything currently on Earth. NASA has just basically successfully test-fired a new kind of engine that has the potential to make space travel cheaper and faster. Recently, most commercial and military rockets utilize chemical fuels, which have to be pre-made on Earth and then stacked into rocket boosters before launch. Not only is this costly and incredibly complex, but it also limits how much weight can be lifted off of Earth's surface. But the new experimental engine? It operates on an alternative form of fuel, electricity, the kind you plug into your wall socket. It may sound ridiculous at first, but when you regard that 95% of everything you do in life involves using electricity at some point, it doesn't seem so improbable anymore. In September, Musk and a group of scientists at NASA introduced their design for a revolutionary rocket they named the Raptor. It can uphold more than 500,000 pounds of thrust and operate on liquid methane rather than traditional kerosene, meaning it would manufacture 30% less carbon dioxide emissions. But to make its way into space, engineers first need to successfully establish that it works here on Earth. Steve Jerksik, Associate Administrator for NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate, said in an interview, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do short flights, sort of up and down flights, probably sometime in the first half of next year. But what are they constructing? Basically, it's a huge super heavy launch vehicle and booster rocket combo which is capable of lifting 170 metric tons into low Earth orbit. To give a more clear idea, Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's newly operational heavy lift rocket is able to lift 54 metric tons. That indicates a single Raptor engine could possibly replace all three first-stage Merlin engines used on today's Falcon 9 launch vehicle. The Raptor is also distinct from most conventional rockets in that it will operate on liquid methane instead of kerosene, which has been employed since the 1950s, and uncomplicated to produce than conventional rocket fuel, but also incredibly tough to handle. The amount of energy required to liquefy methane means conventional rocket engines can't utilize it as a propellant. They would burn up because they couldn't hold such high pressure and heat. But SpaceX appears confident to figure out how to harness that power with Raptor. The experimental engine creates a staggering 420,000 pounds of thrust, utilizing methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as an oxidizer, surpassing the current US. So where does this power come from? The EM drive yields thrust by bouncing microwaves back and forth inside an enclosed chamber. The electromagnetic fields that ensues from these back and forths also gives an equal and opposite reaction, causing acceleration in one direction. In order to power it, you need to utilize solar energy or some other kind of outside energy supply, which could be another spacecraft just like a satellite or even a ground station receiving radio waves. But up till now, experiments with systems like these have not been able to generate enough force to overcome drag, the slowing force constructed by friction between air molecules as an object moves through them, or make any significant changes in trajectory. There is a team at EagleWorks Laboratories which has finished tests of an electromagnetic drive, EM drive, under conditions akin to those you might encounter in deep space and they assert that these trials confirm a thrust to power ratio of 1 to 4, which is larger than any of their calculations predicted for such a device and could open up new prospects for deep space exploration. The results have yet to be backed up by other scientists, so we won't know if they can be reproduced until independent teams get their hands on their own EM drives and carry out their own experiments, something that should occur in 2017. 
The EM drive made by the team is a controversial device. It defies Newton's third law, which states that everything must have an equal and opposite reaction. So if you fire something out of a rocket ship, there will be something propelling it in another direction, even if it's just air molecules bouncing off the thing when it leaves. The EM drive doesn't do that. It only generates thrust in one direction. SpaceX explains that it has generated a thruster system that goes against physics and has successfully tested it. The rocket propulsion system uses electrically charged gas and can obtain speeds of up to 65 kilometers per second, or about 150,000 miles per hour. The engine is created from super lightweight carbon fiber fuel tanks with cold gas thrusters. It doesn't use any kind of propellant, meaning it doesn't eject any byproducts into space. Instead, as Wired said, the engine produces thrust by accelerating superheated plasma with magnetic fields, which also means that there's no fumes being expelled from combustion. These types of engines are called electric thrusters, but they operate very differently from those utilized by SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. These thrusters make thrust by propelling pressurized gas, whereas electric ones generate a charged plasma that ejects ions to push the craft forward. The electronic engine manufactured by SpaceX is allegedly more powerful than traditional gridded ion thrusters and could power manned missions to Mars and beyond. It could also reduce travel time for spacebound cargo because it needs less propellant, which can be costly to launch into orbit. Some may say it's not possible to travel at high speeds through space, but that hasn't stopped Elon Musk from asserting he can do it. His idea is to build a light-speed engine that will take us to Mars in just 70 days. Such an engine defies physics and would significantly traveling faster than 186,000 miles per second. Let's see how light-speed engines operate. There are some that say that we could travel at light speed, but firstly, we need to comprehend how light works. As it travels through space, every atom in its path interacts with it. This decelerates it and even halts it completely if there's no matter around to pass through. Because of these interactions, light has a maximum velocity of 186,000 miles per second, meaning that's as fast as it can go through empty space. As there's nothing that can travel faster than light without breaking physics rules, if we want to catch up with a distant star in our lifetime, we have to figure out another way to get there apart from traveling directly towards it. The way we measure speed is the distance over time. In order to travel at light speed, or 186,000 miles per second, you would require to accelerate past the velocity until your speed was 186,000 MPs, then hold it there for an endless amount of time. Until currently, it has been basically accepted that nothing in our current state of technology could even start to move at a velocity close to what we deem as light speed. However, we're often impressed by what scientists and technology are capable of accomplishing, and scientists have now managed to make an engine that's able to reach a mere 10% of light speed. Contradicting these formally held assumptions about what is plausible for our technological capabilities in today's day and age. The innovation of an engine that could approach such high speeds would enable us to travel through space much more efficiently than before.